We are taking a mental health day. This is my first few words that I'm speaking, so forgive me. When I was younger, my mom introduced this idea to me when I was having, when I was just feeling really overwhelmed. It could just be any random day in the summer or on a weekend, whatever it may be, sometimes on a Friday for a school day, okay? And I am just overwhelmed, whatever it may be. And she'd be like, you need to take a mental health day. And I actually thought it was really cool growing up that that was something that I, you know, even knew what that meant. Um, and I'm really grateful to my mom for teaching me how important it is to sometimes take a step back and do things for you and do just have a day full of doing things that make you feel happy. Maybe it's just you laying down all day, whatever it is, like just giving yourself that excuse. And some people are better than others at this. Like, I go through phases of life and right now I'm in a phase of life where I feel like I can't, ever since I moved to New York, honestly, where I feel like if the sun is shining and there's an opportunity for me out there, I need to be out, I need to be doing things, I don't wanna say no. And um, today is not one of those days. Today is one of those days where I want to listen to my body, listen to me and kind of just refuel myself, recharge my social battery, if you will. The last, since early September, I have been go, 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 fashion week, weddings, travel, hurricanes. I think my social battery is at an all time low in, in this very moment. But also I feel like my body, like I swear I'm getting a sty in my eye. I sprained my ankle this past weekend at the wedding, like fully sober, by the way, I just tripped. Um, <laughs> and I'm sore, like, I don't know. I just feel like my body's like, hey, Danielle, let's chill. So that is what we're gonna do today. I thought that'd be a fun little pivot to my normal vlogs. This will be a vlog where I take you along my day. But I'm, seriously, I have not one thing that I have to be at today. And I'm, let me preface by saying, I feel forever grateful that that is my day today. I feel so privileged that I can have this day because I know not everyone can just take a full mental health day, but I hope you take some inspiration from this video if anything so i started off my mental health day last night when i went to bed i said we're not putting on an alarm i put on my little night routine on my hatch alarm i did the red light i changed it to um it goes from red light for 30 minutes with music to um white noise all night actually i think i have it on brown noise i like brown noise um until you turn it off in the morning i slept so well I think just knowing too that I didn't have an alarm going off, like that is a luxury. Um, like even on the weekends, I feel like I have an alarm of some sort. Also, one thing I'm realizing, cause sleep, the older I get, I'm realizing how important sleep is. I feel like when you're younger, you're like, I wanna stay up all night and like, who cares? No, sleep is so important and it affects so many parts of your life um, and your physical well-being. Um, this is like such a random thing. Normally when I go to bed, I have like a thousand throw pillows. As you guys know, I usually, unless Ryan's here, I will take all the pillows and just pile them up on the right side of my bed and just go to sleep. I wake up, they're all still there and it's so easy to make your bed in the morning. That's the main reason I do it. It's so easy to make your bed in the morning. However, I'm realizing particularly in mornings where I wanna sleep in or I just wanna be lazy in the morning, I, the night before I take off all of my pillows. Like last night, I just knew it was gonna be that kind of day. So I put all of my pillows over there and I do feel like I slept really, really well because I can just like sprawl and I'm not running into pillow. I don't know. My, my blanket's not tight when I try to pull it up because all the pillows are weighing it down. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but I just thought I'd share that. A lot of times I will still sleep with the pillows because it does make making the bed really easy. But anywho. Welcome to today and I'm really excited to take you guys along. I'm really, I'm selfishly excited for this day for me because I haven't had a day like this in so long and it's just gonna be a well-rounded day full of, well, you'll see, you'll see what we're doing today. So I'm gonna start off by getting out of bed even though it is, oh, my dad's calling me. I already, he's gonna ask me about my ice machine, ready? Good morning. Good morning. I, I hope you're up now. <laughs> um, I was just getting out of bed, actually. <laughs> well, good for you. Good for you. Hey, um, I just realized tomorrow is Aunt Debbie's birthday. Um, yes, it is. She's coming here tomorrow. Uh, yeah. 
Hey, you want to check your ice cubes while I'm here? Just interested. Of course. It definitely should be. It definitely should be more than yesterday. If it's my dad got me out of bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like the key for a mental health day to start is a relaxing, restful start, like waking up feeling like you got good amount of sleep and you can just kind of enjoy your morning like I purposely like not today but on another day I would normally get up earlier than I have to be like start getting ready so I can enjoy my morning so I am doing just that and I cannot wait to make my coffee um I'm still on the decaf grind I had some caffeine this past week because I needed it but um, on the day to day, I do adore my decaf coffee because I definitely still feel a little like buzzed, but I don't feel as anxious. And gosh, I just love the act of making coffee. And I feel like my Keurig just does it for me. I actually fell asleep on my couch last night. I started season two of Tell Me Lies. Oh my gosh, it's, I'm, I'm locked in, um, but hence, the blanket and remote just like this whole area just screams i fell asleep on the couch i am gonna light a candle this morning because i'm actually gonna be in my apartment for a while i hate lighting a candle than just like leaving the house like i'm trying to be more mindful about when i'm lighting my candles this one is cotton poplin from byredo and oh my gosh it smells so good i also am really into black candles like i look i think it's just the aesthetic of my new apartment you know and you guys know this, but normally what I would do is while my coffee is being made, I go rush to make my bed, but it's not that kind of day. We're doing what we want today, so cheers. My apartment gets beautiful sunlight in the morning. However, I don't really want it right now. So I'm just gonna pull this down just because it's like direct sunlight in the morning and I think I want to watch some YouTube videos or some TV just to kind of wake up because normally I would sit here and listen to my jazz music, which is also lovely, but I just kind of want to not think about my own life right now. Not because I'm, not for anything crazy. I just, I don't know. It's fun to kind of take yourself out of your world. That same thing goes for like reading a book or something. It's just nice to watch someone else's life and not be in yours, except my dad's calling me again. Hello. <coughs> Long time no chat. Fam is just coming in hot today. I got this video from my mom. Oh my God, she's dancing to Sabrina Carpenter. She's got her eye patches on under her glasses. She had never heard of Sabrina Carpenter and I was like, you know, oh, go girl. If you were to ask me who my favorite YouTuber is, I would a thousand percent say Michelle Choi, I love her videos so much. As you can see, I've watched all of these, but I'm a little bit behind. So, okay, I have three episodes, three episodes, three YouTube videos I can watch. So, except I'm not really in the mood for what I eat in a day, so I'll do this. I just love her vlogs so much. They just put me in the best mood. So we're gonna watch one. A big part of mental health days for me are being in nature, getting some physical activity in of sorts, but that doesn't always mean working out. Like I initially had a Pilates class booked for today and I was like, I don't, I don't wanna do it. I knew I wanted to move my body in some way. I also, my ankle is really bothering me. So sometimes like when in, on the reformer, I feel like you have to like bring in your whole body weight with your feet and like, I like, that might not be good for my ankle. Anyways, I'm also dramatic. No excuses because we don't need excuses on this day. We can do whatever the heck we want but I would like to get outside, be in nature, maybe walk along the High Line. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I also do need to go to CVS. I do need to do that. So this will be a good excuse, but I just put on this little outfit and a little button down, a little, little everything, a button down bag in case I acquire things along the way, AKA going to CVS and buying more deodorant. Um, but I'm excited to get outside and just get some physical activity and get some steps in. And I actually saw something on TikTok the other day and I might try it. I'm not like anxious today, which is lovely. Um, but sometimes when I'm really anxious, I go on a walk. And I saw this girl, she went on a color walk where basically on your walk, you look for 
um, you choose a color. So she chose yellow, I think. And she would just basically, kind of like I spy adult version. So on her box, she'd be like, oh, that's a yellow thing. That's a yellow thing. So you're, you're out of your mind and you're focused on something else. Um, so I actually did that the other day. I was kind of anxious walking somewhere and I chose the color red and it was really fun for me just to play that little game with myself of like, oh, there's something red there's, And then I'm like, wait, what was I stressed about? It's, it's pretty great. Um, it's not a cure by any means, but it is nice. So that's something you can do for sure. But I'm gonna head outside, maybe call a friend. I always love talking on the phone to someone, but honestly, today's one of those, like I'm recharging my social batteries. So I'm not particularly in the mood to chat. So I'm just gonna enjoy some time with me, myself, and I. We have made it on the High Line and it's popping. There are lots of people here right now, but it's really nice to be in all the nature. Normally, I have my AirPods in and I'm listening to some relaxing music, maybe a podcast, but today I'm doing a mindfulness walk, which I do every now and then, where no headphones in, I'm taking in the sounds of the city, like literally the sounds of planes driving by, just kind of taking in everything, all the senses, smell, sights, <laughs> hearing, everything, and it's really nice. And just I love hearing birds chirp and I've heard it for you today. montage and let me say cleaning for me is a reset it feels amazing like I feel grateful when I have a lot of time in my day to clean because it allows me to have a clearer headspace like I'm just in a good mood be my new therapy video call just zoom meeting area honestly the lighting is probably going to be fabulous but my apartment is nice and clean i've been listening to bossa nova jazz while cleaning which has been nice um like i said there's days where i want to listen to a podcast there's days i want to watch tv um and i have to tell me lies on but i literally was getting so distracted 
because it's just so good, season two is so good, that I had to turn it off and put on Bossa Nova and we'll watch that later. But I do wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I think it's only fitting for my mental health day to include therapy and I love BetterHelp because it makes therapy so accessible. You don't have to go into like a very intimidating waiting room. It's very easy to get matched with a licensed professional therapist, which is just so nice. It's literally so easy. All you do is fill out a brief questionnaire and then they're gonna match you. And it's so nice because if for some reason you're not meshing with your therapist, you can totally get a new one, which is really nice. Like you're not tied to the one, like BetterHelp wants you to have a good experience. Um, also, these therapists are trained to ask you the right questions, get you curious about certain things, and they'll help you see things from a new perspective, which I think is really nice. That's one of my favorite things about therapy, and I always say this, but it's so true. It's because this person isn't in my life at all. I don't have to worry like, oh, if I tell them this, they're, you know, they're friends with that person too, or, you know, it's all like, that's my mom, and like, that's her son that I'm talking about, or, whatever it may be, just giving examples, I feel so safe. And I think it's so important to have safe spaces, especially in this day and age. I'm in my like <laughs> upper 20s now, I guess. Is that what 26 is? And there's a lot of life changes constantly, things that are going in, on in my personal life and friendships, relationships, and I don't know what I would do without therapy, to be honest. So if you're struggling and think you'd benefit from a therapy session, you definitely need to give BetterHelp a try. Click the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn to get 10% off your first month of therapy. Thank you so much again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and I'm in my little therapy nook now. <laughs> Okie dokie, now it is time to start making dinner. I don't know why I made that sound so dramatic but it's a little bit before 4 p.m. And I recently got this guy right here. It's the Our Place Dream Cooker. It's basically a crock pot, but I'm an aesthetics person and I do need, I just, I knew that I'd probably want to keep it out and I want it to look nice. And crock pots are fine looking, but this just looks so good and it like matches my vibe. So I finally got one and I made chili last week. It's actually what I had for lunch today. It was really good. So today we're gonna make split pea soup and something I find very therapeutic is cooking, like chopping the onions, listening to my bossa nova jazz music, Frank Sinatra, whatever it may be. Um, so I'm gonna do just that today. And I invited Ryan over and he'll come over later tonight when dinner's ready. But I wanna kinda get it all prepped right now. I think the recipe I found, it's not like, the chili I made, you had to keep it cooking for like three to six hours. But this, I think is just 45 minutes. But I kinda just wanna like make it now. That's where I'm at right now. Pots. It's just that's why it's so quick. It's because It's for a regular pot because you need to like cook some of the things Please comment down below your favorite crock pot recipes because I am so embarrassed, but I mean it's fine I have a pot to cook it in. It's just funny. Anyways, let's continue the cooking montage Things are simmering in there for about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna take a shower. I'm listening to my jazz in here. I love that I have the speakers in both rooms, it's so nice. 
I just finished showering and putting lotion all over my body. I also did some more self tan on my face because I still have a spray tan. So I need the face to match, but just doing all the things while I wait for my food to cook. It's that time of day for a tall glass of kombucha. No wine today. We're going kombucha. I've been loving this little moment to myself in the evenings. Kombucha truly winds me down. I don't know how to explain it. Just the way it feels in my chest. I'm like, ooh, I love it. So it's been my little evening treats and kombucha. Soup is done. This is a true labor of love right here. I literally was like, oh, this is perfect. I'll just pop it in and I don't have to touch it. No, this was something I definitely had to attend to, but it was therapeutic and I had the time today. So that's good. Um, I sent it to my mom and her boyfriend. He's a chef. He was like, did you have potatoes? And the recipe I used was from delish.com and there was no potatoes, but you can see the ham, the carrots. Oh, it smells so good and I had a little taste and it's good. Ryan will be here shortly so we can eat. I pulled out the placemats. That's all I've done so far, but I think it'll be a nice setup. I also, for my birthday, my grandma and grandpa got me um, a set of eight of these, or she said of my choice, um, like, dinner set so i got eight of each thing it looks gray on camera but they're black i absolutely love them i'm so excited so i think ryan and i can eat out of these bowls actually no that is far too small so we will do my my standard these this time but um, I am very excited about my new plates and bowls, for sure. Instead of flowers this week, Ryan brought me a pumpkin, and I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. We have to make pumpkin seeds. There's pumpkin seeds in this one. There's pumpkin seeds. It's nice and big. Oh, you got all, oh, never mind. He said there's always a dirty side. They grow on the ground. They grow on the ground, you're right. This is stunning, I can't wait, thank you. shower, hair wash, you know, like an everything shower. Um, let's do showers today, oh well. We had such a lovely evening, and now I'm gonna put back on Tell Me Lies for a little bit while I fold laundry, because it's it's a reward. Um, I also forgot I bought these, and I wanna try them. These are kale chips. All of a sudden, I'm really wanting like something crunchy and salty. I just don't know. Kale chips. Okay, that tastes really good. Kale, sunflower seeds, chickpea miso, lemon juice, carrot, onion, garlic, tomato, Himalayan salt, and turmeric powder. This feels like a really healthy snack and it's definitely like satisfying my craving for like a salty chip. I'm impressed. I got these at Whole Foods and I don't like things that taste healthy. This is like a vegetable. And this is good. So, try these. Blue dry my hair a little bit. I think I'm gonna wear it straight tomorrow, which I don't do as often anymore with the extensions. But yeah, I'm gonna blow out my candle, turn off the TV, and go to bed feeling very fulfilled, very grateful. Today was such a nice, well-rounded day. I just love my time alone and in my apartment. It's the best. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you to have your own version of a mental health day and I'll see you guys next time for our next video.